Congratulations! If you've made it this far, you have successfully completed the beginner and intermediate levels conditioning. So let's get right into our workout for today. First, we're going to start with a simple warm-up. Sophia is going to start running like we've done before, jogging in place. As you remember in the previous lessons, we want to work on making sure that our shoulders stay up and we're just moving the bottom part of our feet. Then you're going to work on getting those knees up, trying to get your knees above your belly button. Good. While you're doing this, you're just going to simply work on making sure that you push through your legs and get those knees up really high. Now you're going to kick your bottom. While you're kicking your bottom, make sure that your shoulders stay straight up and not leaning forward at all. And back to a simple jog. Very nice. This we do to get our heart racing like we've done in the other conditioning videos. And this should be really easy for you by now. And knees up. Very nice. And heels up. And sprint as fast as you can. And when you sprint, try to push the ground away as fast as you can, getting your knees in front of you. And back to a slow jog. Very nice. And now we're gonna go one more time through. Knees up. Try to get your knees way above those belly buttons. Good. And heels up. Kicking your bottom, keeping your chest and shoulders straight up in front of you. Back to a nice jog. And sprint as fast as you can, pushing the ground away. Push, push, push. Keep going, keep going, just a few more seconds. And back to a jog. And freeze. Great job. Now, once we've finished our warm up, we're gonna go through a quick review of the positions we've learned in previous lessons. We're not gonna spend a lot of time on these because you have done them before, but we just wanna review. First, we're gonna start with a straight stance. Arms up, covering your ears, and very nice. From a straight stance, Sophia's gonna kick forward and show us a lunge. Good, keeping those back knees super straight, but feet bent and ears covered, really pushing up top. And step back in. And Sophia's gonna kick forward and show a lunge on the other leg. Very nice, reaching, making sure the back knees straight. And back to straight stance. And from here, we're gonna do arms out and side lunge. Sophia's gonna kick towards me and big side lunge. Making sure the feet stays really straight and bending in here. Perfect, and back to a straight stand, arms up, and arms go out, and she's gonna kick to a side lunge on the other side. Kick and lunge. Very nice, back to straight stand. And Sophia's gonna squat down towards me. Very nice. Now from here, we're gonna go straight into our prone position. We've done this before, so Sophia's gonna walk her hands forward. And lay all the way down. Arms up next to her ears. And squeezing her bottom, she's gonna hold it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now, keeping this position, Sophia's gonna roll over onto her back and show us a layout. Very nice. Making sure that these hips are nice and flat and open. Ears are covered. We're going to hold this one for five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Right from here, we're going to go into our rear support. Keeping your hands behind your hips. A little bit more back. And now push your hips all the way up. And straight. You want to make your bottom really tight and make this all the way open and hold it. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Now from here, Sophia's gonna get into a squat position and we're gonna go right into our conditioning exercises. So bringing those knees in, hands down, hands in front. Sophia's gonna walk her feet out to a front support. So walking her feet out, she's gonna hold it here. Five, four, three, two, and keep your head perfect, straight ahead, and one. Jump your feet into a squat, and hold. Now, while you're in front support, you really wanna make sure your shoulders stay over your head, 
that shoulders are over your hands, and that you are tight in your body, and your head is not up or down too far. You want a neutral head position. Jump back into that front support, Sophia, and good, tight body. And we're gonna hold five, four, very nice, three, knees together, two, and one. Jump back to a squat. And next last front support, we're gonna hold and go straight into our position. So one more time, jump out to a front support. Really tight, good. Shoulders are directly over those hands. And we're gonna hold it five, four, squeezing three, two, and one. Let's get ready for those push-ups. Seven push-ups, here we go. One, good. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Good, let's get back into a squat and rest for a second. Good. Now, in the previous exercises, conditioning videos, we have only done five push-ups. We're bumping them up to seven, so it is a little bit more difficult. The more you follow in and continue to do this video over and over, the easier these will get. So don't forget to keep practicing. Jump back out to front support, seven more push-ups. Nice and tight, keeping your chin down, looking straight in front of your fingers, and seven push-ups. Here we go. One, two, good, three, four, five, six, one more, seven, and back to a squat. Great job. Now these are gonna get really hard on your last set. This is your third and final set. Please push through and make sure that you continue to work on them. The more you do it, the easier they'll get. Here we go, your last set. Jump back out to front support, squeezing really tight, tight body, squeezing your bottom, looking right in front of your fingers, and seven push-ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great job. Squat. And let's sit down in a pipe position for a second and take the rest. From our push-ups, we're gonna go right into our hollow body. We've done these in the previous videos, but as you can tell, we are increasing intensity each video that you do. So Sophia's gonna lean back and get into that hollow position. So hands are right here on her side, and she's gonna lift her toes off the ground, and this is our hollow position. Sophia's gonna hold this for seven seconds, and we're gonna do this three times. Here we go, squeezing, pushing your bottom really into the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And lay down and relax. And when you lay down and relax, take big deep breaths to make sure that you're getting all oxygen to all these muscles that you're building right now. Once again, we're gonna go back for seven more seconds of a hollow body hold. Ready, set, go. One, two, squeezing the legs, three, four, five, six, and seven. Lay down and relax. It's really important when you're in your hollow body that you really focus on keeping your knees and your toes touching the whole time. And don't forget, we know you feel those tummy muscles working, but make sure you squeeze them as hard as you can. Back up, one more set. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Great job, Sophia. Sophia's gonna roll up into a squat position. And from here, she's gonna lay all the way down on her tummy and get ready for her arch hold. So as you remember from the previous lesson, our holds are pretty much the opposite of our hollow body. And some people call me Superman or Superwoman. You're gonna lift your arms and legs up off the ground, trying to keep just your belly button on the mat. Squeezing your bottom heels together. We're gonna hold this for seven seconds. Ready? Look at your fingers hold. One, two, three, four, five, good, six, seven, and relax. Great job. We're gonna do two more sets just like that. Try to really hold yourself as high as you can off the ground and hold that for the entire seven seconds. Here we go again, set two, all the way up, and hold one, two, three, squeeze your legs, four, five, six, and seven. Nice job. 
This is gonna be your last one and it always is your hardest one. Try to make this one the hardest working arch up that you can hold, keeping your arms and legs as high as you can off the ground. Last one, ready to start, and up, hold. One, two, squeezing, three, four, five, six, and seven. Great job. Now, right into our next exercise. Conditioning is really about continuing to work your muscles the whole time and taking the least amount of breaks as possible. So while you're working through these exercises, try not to take very many breaks. We give you a few seconds in between sets, but to get the maximum out of this conditioning workout video, make sure you take no breaks and try to stay the whole way through. So Phoenix gonna roll over onto her back. Great job. And here we go with our Via. Ready? One, two, Three, good, keeping those knees straight. Four, five, and relax. From here, we're gonna do one more set of five. As you work through these, really think about straight knees, feet together, and covering those ears when you come up. Here we go, one more set of five. Go ahead, Sophia. One, two, three, great job. Four, last one, five, and relax. Now, like we've done in the previous video, we've started you with straddle vias. They definitely are the most difficult vias that we're gonna do here. But, Sophia will show us one first, and then we'll do two sets of five. Ready, Sophia? So Sophia's gonna come up, and on the way up, she's gonna make a huge straddle and reach through her legs. Ready, straddle, and down. Good. Let's go ahead and do five, just like that. Reaching forward, go. One, two, keeping your knees straight. Three, four, last one, five, and relax. Great job. Now, as you relax, think about making yourself as long as you can. This will help elongate your abdominal muscles and help them contract and be really strong when you move. So let's go ahead and do five more straddle bands. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, good. Four, and last one, five. Excellent job. Now, we're gonna go into our tuck lift. Sophia's gonna sit up into a pike position. So for a better angle, we're gonna have Sophia turn around and we're gonna show our tuck lift. From a pike, Sophia's gonna put her arms out to the side. And Sophia's gonna bring her knees up to her chest, grabbing one hand for each shin, keeping her toes pointed and never crossing her hands over each other. Then she's gonna shoot her arms back out and arms come back out. Beautiful. We're gonna do five just like that. Here we go, Sophia. One, two, very nice. Three, as you can tell, Sophia's not even putting her feet on the ground. Four, and five and to pipe and relax. Great job. Sophia didn't put her feet on the ground, she kept them above. That is really hard. If you need to slide your feet on the ground, that is okay also. But once you get more advanced, you'll be able to do them just like Sophia. Let's go ahead and do five more just like that. Arms come out to the side, and really think about grabbing those knees. One, two, three, very nice. Four, last one, five, and arms come out. Great job. Now, just like that, we're gonna do pike lifts, so keeping your legs really straight. These are definitely a lot more advanced than the tuck lifts, so try to just do as many as you can do. Arms are gonna come out to the side again, so Sophia's gonna show us one first. She's gonna lift her legs up and out. Very nice. Let's go ahead and do five, just like that. Ready, Sophia? Keeping those knees straight, go. One, two, three, four, and five. Excellent job, Sophia. Sophia kept her knees really straight, and once again, she did not put her, her feet on the ground. Great job, Sophia. Now, let's get into a squat position. We're gonna stand up and do some leg exercises. 
same facing this way. So feet are gonna go into the squat. We've done the squats in previous lessons, but we're gonna do them with a little bit harder exercise today. So you're gonna open your legs shoulder width apart. Hands are gonna go in front. And whenever you squat, you wanna think about sitting in a chair. Let's show one for Sophia. Sophia's gonna bend and straight up. Her back stays tight, she doesn't stick her bottom out, and her knees are not gonna go in front of her toes. You wanna sit down like you're sitting in a chair. We're gonna do 10, just like that. Ready, Sophia? And start. One, two, three, good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, Good. Nine. Last one. Ten. Very nice. Arms down and relax for a second. Like I said, we're going to do two sets of these. These are a little bit more difficult, so if you need to squat not as much, that's completely fine. But the more advanced you become, the deeper you can make your squat. So let's put our arms out, and we're going to do ten more just like this. Arms out in front, and ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, very nice, seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. Great job. And relax up here first. Now from here, we're going to go into our simple toe raises. We did these one time before, but like I said, we're going to make them a little bit more advanced. With our feet together. Sophia's gonna put her hands on her hips. Knees are straight, and Sophia's gonna show us first. Push up on her leve, and slowly down. Good, as you can tell, Sophia's knees do not bend at all. Her body is nice and tight, and she's squeezing her bottom. We're gonna go ahead and do 10 toe raises. Nice and slow, ready, go. One, two, three, four, Five. Very nice. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, Sophia. Let's turn towards the front now, and we're going to work a little bit on our jumps. We are just reviewing the basic jumps that we've done before in our previous exercises. These are all basic jumps that you would need in any gymnastics class. So first, let's start with our straight jump. So you're going to bend those knees. Arms come behind, and Sophia's gonna do a huge straight jump, covering her ears to a stick with it. Ready, Sophia, straight jump, stick, and big salute. Very nice. Now let's show a straddle jump. Sophia's gonna put her arms out to the side, and you've done this one before. We're gonna do a big straddle jump, stick landing, and salute. Let's try those all together. Ready? Arms go back, straight jump is first. Swing and straight jump, stick landing, face salute. Very nice. And straddle jump. Arms come down and straight straddle jump, stick landing, and big salute. Beautiful. Let's do it one more time together. Arms come down and straight jump. Stick landing, big salute, and last time our straddle jump. Think about straight knees and pointing those toes. Straddle jump, stick landing, and big salute. Great job, Sophia. Congratulations, you just finished the advanced level conditioning lesson one. We hope that you repeat this lesson many times until you're strong enough and ready to go to lesson two. We hope you enjoyed your workout and have a great day. Bye.